Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back for another Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis and talk so much about the resurgence of the Pittsburgh Steelers offense in 2020. Obviously, much to do with the return of Big Ben and his performance this year, but you got to show some love to the offensive line. They've done a really good job this year protecting Ben, giving him time, sacked only 10 times in seven games so far, and two guys who have really impressed me, just not only how they work individually, but more importantly, and for the purposes of this video, how they work together is left tackle Alejandro Villanueva and left guard Matt Filer. A couple clips today to show their chemistry and why they work so well. Two weeks ago against the Tennessee Titans, and I think Brian Baldinger had a tweet breakdown of this, but I had this in my notes as well. I'll leave a link to Baldi's breakdown because they're always very good in the description of this video. But watch left tackle Alejandro Villanueva, left guard Matt Filer. Titans here are going to run this tackle and stunt with the uh, defensive end here are going to loop to the inside, and then the defensive tackle is going to try to crash, and the goal is to get the right defensive end free if these guys can't communicate and recognize and pick things up correctly. But Filer and Villanueva do a great job here passing this one off, staying on the same plane, sta staying square, recognizing it, and we'll kind of break this one down frame by frame here. And it's all about, you know, recognition of the stunt, first of all. And so you see that Villanueva sees this as soon as the right DN spikes to the inside. He's getting his eyes inside, anticipating a stunt being run, ready to pick up the crasher, which is the interior guy. This is the looper. And then Matt Filer, as soon as this gets passed off and secured by Villanueva, he's now able to pick up the looper, and the stunt totally fails. A clean pocket for Ben. He completes it to Deontay Johnson for 14 yards on third and three, and the Steelers move the stick. So. Really important that those guys work together, the left tackle, left guard, as one, because what happens on these stunts is, you know, Filer isn't able to pick up the looper until the crasher gets picked up by Villanueva. So if Villanueva is late here and picking that up and recognizing it, Filer's not going to be able to leave his guy to pick up uh, the crasher. And so Filer with a good hard shove there to Villanueva. Villanueva sees it. They're staying on the same plane, the same level. I'll show that in the aerial view here in a second. And so... Filer's then able to pick up the uh, looper and doesn't really go anywhere. And Ben's able to have that clean pocket to make that throw. But let's look at it from the top-down view here briefly because it's important that these guys stay on the same level. If Villanueva gets a lot of depth here and he's a lot further back in the pocket, it's going to create a crease here for the crasher to be able to get through. And they're basically going to be able to pick um, these two guys here. And so it's important to stay on the same level, to stay, stay square, and to really be able to both pick that up at the same time to execute that stunt pickup, and they do a really good job here. So one last look at it, and we will move on to the next example. Week 8, last Sunday against the Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be a run block, a double team from Villanueva and Filer. They're working against the three-tech and just a really good double team block. They're both going to come down on it, be able to carry this and work this to number 40, the linebacker, and basically pick him up along the way, and James Conner runs off the outside hip of Alejandro Villanueva, and it's a nice four-yard gain on, I believe, first down. Let me double-check that. Uh, yeah, first and 10, so it's a good way to stay on schedule uh, early on in the down. So a good double-team block here. You get some movement here. You'll watch this defensive tackle down into the linebacker as well. He may be cheating this one a little bit. I don't know exactly what his uh, gap fill was on this play, but regardless, does a nice job here to be able to clog up the linebacker, force the defensive back to come in and make the tackle. And it's a four-yard gain. And Filer took a shot here at the end. This was a chippy game with the Ravens. The Ravens had a, a couple of cut blocks that were legal, but definitely aggressive and violent. And Calais Campbell welcoming Matt Filer, who uh, took some exception to that. But uh, regardless, uh, on the front side of the block here, Villanueva Filer, good job on the three-tech. And the Steelers get four yards on first down. Last example, and again, stunt pickup, Villanueva, left tackle, Filer, left guard, and similar to the first clip, just a really textbook job of being able to recognize, stay on the same plane, stay square, and finish this with some authority, especially from Villanueva, the left tackle here, on uh, the looper in this instance. on the Really, I guess it's a crasher, but he ended up staying wide on this one to contain and kind of loops around, but Villanueva being very violent there. And so, you know, a lot of people say the pass pro, it's not as aggressive. Linemen prefer to run block and kind of impose their will. And, and that's true oftentimes, but you can be aggressive. You can be physical in pass protection and make guys pay. And so Villanueva does a great job there with a little shove at the end. Land on top of him, that's 300 and some odd pounds landing on top of you. That's not going to feel good. But uh, more to the point to the actual stunt pickup. Again, Villanueva 
Filer staying on the same plane, staying square, active eyes here. Villanueva might be even anticipating a stunt here, depending on, you know, film study and tendencies and things like that. But staying square, Filer is going to pass it off to Villanueva. Now he's able to pick up the crasher. Seamless pickup. Clean pocket for Ben. And it is incomplete, but there is PI on the play, and the Steelers still have a positive outcome. One last point I wanted to address with some of these stunts with uh, Villanueva specifically is the set. You know, oftentimes you get a kick slide. You'll see that at the combine. I think you see it on this play with Chuck Wuma core for. Um, yeah, you basically do. Villanueva doesn't often, doesn't always at least take a, a kick set, a 45 degree angle set. He'll often take a vertical set where he's just going backwards. And I think that's done to protect against stunts. It certainly helps by not creating space between. Uh, the tackle and the guard, but I think because of the length and size he has, he can get away with doing these vertical sets more often um, because if someone wants to rush outside, if no stunt comes, he has the length to be able to seal the edge and um, kind of control things that way. So just interesting note with Villanueva taking his vertical set. You see the first step more backwards, never really gets any width compared to core four. He gets a little bit of width here. They're also running a stunt here, so it's not as pronounced in this clip as it would be versus others, but just kind of notice that um, Villanueva's pass set is different than most other Steelers tackles, I think because of his size and length overall, and in stunt situations, stunt pickup, I think that helps quite a bit. But overall, while I don't think Matt Fowler has been perfect in pass pro, he's had some struggles there more than I anticipated and expected. Um, the, the chemistry and the, the cohesion offensive line is a five-man job. If one guy fails, they all fail. That's the mentality you have to work with, especially in pass pro, also in run blocking. But I think Villanueva Filer doing a nice job working together as a unit when the, uh, the times call for it this year. And I think the you know, Steelers offensive line overall has done a really impressive job. So that's my thoughts on those two. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will talk to you soon.